Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. This weekend we're going to make a theremin. Leon Theremin invented the theremin when he was trying to work out how to make a proximity detector in 1918 in Russia. He was doing this work for the Russian government and after making his first musical instrument, he took it to the Bolshevik leader Lenin and had him check it out. He liked it enough to take lessons and have 600 made and sent around the world to show how cool electronic musical instruments in Russia were. Clara Rockmore rocked the theremin in the 1930s, taking it from something that made really cool sounds to a classical instrument. There are a lot of theremin kits out there. Here, check out some of the theremins that people have made that I found on the internet. The kit I'm going to be making today is by Harrison Instruments, and it's a minimum theremin kit. It's very simple and pretty straightforward. Let's solder it up. Capacitors with stripes, diodes, rectifiers, voltage regulators, and ICs all need to be put in the right way. If you put them in the wrong way, they don't work as well and they can blow things out and it can ruin the whole thing. So be careful when you put these in to make sure you get them in the right way. A theremin works because it's got two oscillators in it and one of the oscillators is variable and you change it by moving your hand closer or farther away from the antenna. This is the same effect like when you're watching TV and you're trying to tune a station in and it changes depending on where you stand in the room. A metal detector also uses oscillators to find buried treasure. My buddy Dave gave me this enclosure. It used to be a charger for photography batteries, but it's going to make an awesome case for this theremin. Now I just need to make this fit inside this. All right, it's all done. I had to add an antenna, and that's what this piece of metal is, and I had to go ahead and wire everything up on the inside there. That was actually really easy. Now all I need to put this together screw it up and make some noise. Here it is, it's all set up. The theremin's here, it's got its antenna, a pitch adjustment knob, on off switch, it's got a jack that goes to my cracker box amp, and we're good to go. Here we go. The closer I move my hand, the higher the pitch goes. Let's rock! Now it's your turn to make a really cool instrument like this. You can go ahead and put it in any case you like, just make it look totally awesome. Then take pictures of it and upload it to the Make Flickr pool. Okay, go out there, make a theremin, have a great weekend.